Hi, Dan from CloudSmith here. In this short video, we're going to take a look at CloudSmith command line. Let's start off by installing it. It's simple to install. You just use pip install CloudSmith CLI. And that's it installed. Next, we can just enter the command CloudSmith to get a list of the available options. The first thing that we're going to do is use the login command. The login command will help to set up and configure the CloudSmith command line. So we enter CloudSmith login, followed by our email address and our CloudSmith password. It will now retrieve our API token and offer to set up our configuration files. That's it all set up. We can check that it's all set up correctly using the CloudSmith who am I command. This will return the user that we are currently authenticated as. So let's get the list of available commands again. We can see the upload command. Additional help is available for any command using the H flag. So let's go ahead and upload some packages. We'll start off with an NPM package. The command is cloudsmith push npm, the owner of the repository and the repository name, followed by the package file name. The package is now uploading and synchronizing. And that's it complete. All CloudSmith repositories are fully multi-format, so you can push any of the 19 formats we support into one repository. So let's go ahead and upload some more packages. We can push a Python package with the CloudSmith push Python command, the repository owner, the repository name, and the package file name. Our Python package is now uploading and is synchronizing. And that's it complete. Finally, let's push a cargo crate with the CloudSmith push cargo command, again with the repository owner and the repository name and the file name of the crate. The crate is uploading and it started to synchronize. And that's it complete. Let's now take a look at the contents of this repository with the CloudSmith list packages command. We can see the three packages that we just uploaded. Now let's see what other commands are available to us. You have the check command for checking rate limits and service status, the copy command for copying packages to another repository, the delete command for deleting a package, the docs command to take you to our documentation site, and an entitlements command for managing read-only entitlement tokens. The help command will show this help message. The list command can list distributions, packages, repositories, and entitlements. The login command we used earlier will retrieve your API authentication token. The move command will promote or move a package to another repo. The push command is how we uploaded packages. The repositories command is for managing repositories. The resync command is to resynchronize a package in a repository. The status command is to check the synchronization status of a package. And the who am I command will retrieve your current authentication status. So let's just try a couple of those commands out. The CloudSmith ends create command with the repository owner and the repository name and the name of the entitlement token we wish to create. We'll create an entitlement token in this repository. The entitlement token has been created. And the CloudSmith list ends command will give us a complete list of all entitlement tokens in this repository. Now let's say we wanted to delete a package. How would we do that? Well, we can enter CloudSmith to get a list of the commands. We can see the command we need is CloudSmith delete. And we can add the H flag to get more help. We can see here that we need to enter the repository owner, the repository name, and the package name, or slug. So let's use the CloudSmith list packages command again to retrieve the package name. And we can then use the CloudSmith delete command with the repository owner, the repository name, and the package identifier or slug from the CloudSmith list command to delete this package. The package has now been deleted. And if we use the CloudSmith list packages command again, 
you can see that the status is deleting package. We just give it a moment and check again. And we can see that the package has now been deleted. I hope that that very brief overview gave you an idea of what you can achieve with the CloudSmith command line. If you'd like to try it or any of our other features, just head right on over to cloudsmith.com and sign up from there. And remember, be awesome and automate everything.